looking just to drive them back, but Dacey's in a good position there. Very well played by Christian Dacey, and as they're expecting a second drive, the hooker has snuck over in the corner. Wait. Navidi, as they're calling for more defenders in that direction of the Ospreys, they're outnumbered. Cuthbert, oof, two men outside him. Again, the chance was there, it may yet go for Lilo, driven back in the tackle. That's great defending, Lloyd Williams, plummets over though. That's a superb take by Lloyd Williams. Not the way they planned it, but a great finish from the scrum half. Well, it's a critical point in the game now. As I said, a long way back for the Ospreys if they can see seven Coach. points here. Bind! Set, stable. One, they won. Quick ball from the scrum to Cuthbert, who comes charging at Sam Move. Davis. Webb is there, but so is Lloyd Williams, and so is Nick Williams. It's try number three, and even with less than 27 minutes gone, you're asking yourself, is there a way back to the Ospreys? Jati with a tackle, and scum. Cuthbert again round the back. Alex Cuthbert, so, oh, wait, so close. Stay, stay, one, one. Felice, he's got there, and it's foul Felice, who's got the bonus point to the Blues. And that is as popular a try as you can have for the Cardiff Blues. Sam Davis looking for the flat ball of Baker, hasn't worked. Great pick-up, Casey. Casey, lovely work, through by Halaholo, and Scum on the chase, and he wins it as well, it's all going the Blues way and that must be it a fifth try for the Blues and the celebrations are starting early Dan Evans slips through and at last at long long last the Ospreys have got a try Ospreys need to keep the width here all their players are within the 15s so really narrow then Picked up by Justin Tipperick. Yeah. Where are they back 10? Referee no allows sense. it to go. They're in right here. They can shift the ball, they're in. Paul James don't need it. is in anyway, under they're the sticks. The and they didn't need to go wide. And Paul James, well, faint hopes for the Ospreys as another quick conversion narrows that gap. Yeah, we get Benji from the sponsors to present Ellis first with his uh, Guinness Pro 12 man of the match. Uh, well done, Ellis. Spoke to you at half time. You were saying about the defence. What about the second half performance? How did that compare with the first half? Uh, I think it was it was decent. You know, it's tough to keep that sort of uh, momentum going for a full, full game. We've, we've done that in the last couple of games, come out strong. First 50, 60 minutes and really fallen off. The challenge for us today, especially against the Ospreys, is such a good team. We needed to keep that going. And, you know, we looked, we looked they looked really dangerous in patches and you know, we, did, uh, we did well to, to hold on. The boys on commentary kept saying in the second half, look at the energy of the Blues. How enjoyable was it to play in? Yeah, really, really enjoyable. You know, obviously in a stadium like this, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's something wrong if you can't get yourself up for a game, especially local derby against you know, boys you've been, you've been playing against, uh, you know, sort of Welsh competition as well. And uh, but like, like I said, it's, it comes up to us. We, we've shown the last couple of weeks that we can do it. It's just we've been struggling to do it for for, uh, for the full game and uh, against the quality side at the Ospreys. That's uh, that's what we needed, and fortunately, that's what we delivered today. Great television as well. Well done. Yeah, cheers, Phil. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, commiserations on the defeat. Was that just one of those days you had to concede that the Blues were the better team? Yeah, look, we uh, our errors, they lived off our errors and uh, that, was, that was the story of the game. We just couldn't keep hold of the ball and to be fair, every time we knocked the ball on or dropped the ball, they, they capitalised and, and scored and, uh, and credit has to go to the Blues on uh, this day. That said, you were missing Dan Bigger and, and Alan Wynne-Jones as well. Uh, how much of a loss are they? They're, like, they're two very influential players and any side would miss them, but Look, we've got guys here who, who come in and done the job and are twice and as, as good as those players, but it was down to our errors today that uh, that cost us. And um, obviously we went in losing and we come out trying to start the start the second half fresh and nil-nil, but it uh, just seemed like we just didn't listen to anything at half-time and they scored first and uh, it was back, back to the drawing board. And how confident are you with two games to go? You can put it right and still qualify for the playoffs. Uh, look, uh, it's... With the scoreboard, it didn't seem like it was fine margins. We're just 
obviously just giving up the ball easy or giving away turnovers easy. It's just these little things that we need to fix. And uh, look, it's in our hands. That's the, that's the main thing. But uh, look, all credit has to go to the Blues today. I thought they were brilliant. So, and, fair play to the Blues. And thanks for your time. And fingers crossed for you for the Lions. Ah, as well. Cheers. Cheers.